All right, race season is kicking off. So you know what that means? It is time to dust your wetsuit off. Or better, you can win one. Now, yep, our partners at Orca have just released an entirely new edition of their wetsuits. It's an incredibly comprehensive range. So whatever level of swimmer are, whatever type of swimmer are, we are confident you'll be able to find a wetsuit for you. In fact, because it is so comprehensive, I'm going to be running through what all those wetsuits are, what they can do for you, essentially guiding you through them. Because let's face it, there's a lot of them. And as I've mentioned, there are some up for grabs in today's video. So do stay tuned for that. But first of all, let's take a look to see what all this excitement's about. Well, I've got to say, it does look pretty cool, doesn't it? And actually quite different to some of the previous models. But before I dive into these new wetsuits, let's take a little look at the history of Orca because they've actually been in the wetsuit game for over 25 years, since 1994, in fact, and obviously specifically focusing on swimming wetsuits. And they have been pushing the boundaries in that market ever since. I mean, they were the first to bring in what was called air light technology, which was essentially trapping air pockets within the neoprene, therefore helping to increase the buoyancy of an athlete. They also brought in what's called air release technology within their 3.8 model, which was a world's first basically breathable neoprene, meaning that heat and moisture could be wicked away from an athlete and transferred through the neoprene away from that athlete, which is pretty cool, all whilst being water resistant. Fast forward to today though, they've obviously just brought out a huge range of wetsuits, six to be exact. So I'm gonna do my best to try to break this range down for you so that you can figure out which suit would suit you, sorry. But anyway, let's get into this. So let's try and simplify it a little bit for you and break it down. So we've basically got within this collection, two ranges. So we've got the Athlex range and the Apex range. So the Athlex range, in Orca's words, uses their advanced technologies to help with a swimmer's overall technique, which as we often say here on GTN, is incredibly important in swimming, if not the most important thing you should be working on, the technique. Whereas the Apex range is the most technically advanced of the two ranges, with more or less its sole purpose being performance. Now within those two ranges, we have a further three wetsuits in each of those, making a total of six wetsuits. And that is catering for all different abilities and styles of swimming, whether you're a complete beginner, newbie to swimming, or maybe technically inefficient, through to the most experienced and technically advanced. And obviously picking the right wetsuit for you that suits your style of swimming will make a significant difference obviously to your swim experience, performance and enjoyment. So let's get to this then, starting off with the float. Yep, no points for guessing what this one does, it helps you to float. Yes, it's the most buoyant of the three in the range. And I guess you could say this is targeted at the less experienced swimmers out there, those that perhaps need the most technical help or the most help, particularly in their body position in the water. So this will increase your buoyancy in the water, but not only that, also actually will help with your stability in the water, which is quite interesting. Right, moving on now, on to the flow. This one sits in the middle of the range, so it's obviously designed for someone with a little bit more swim experience, but someone that's still gonna benefit from some added buoyancy, particularly in the legs, all whilst obviously ensuring a good amount of flexibility through the shoulders, through the arms for that movement. Right, moving on to the final one in the range, and that is the flex. Again, as the name suggests with this one, this boasts the most flexibility of the three in the range and it's obviously targeted at the more accomplished swimmers out there, the ones with the most experienced or most technically advanced swimmers. And is there basically to help them maintain their technique without really having any negative effect on their technique or body position through the water. So, as I mentioned before, those three wetsuits sit under both the Athlex and the Apex ranges. So that means we have a total of six wetsuits which is very confusing. I mean, which one do you go for? Well, I'm gonna try and help you here a little bit by just using myself as a bit of an example. I know, just one case study, but here we go. So I've come from a swimming background. I consider myself a fairly strong swimmer, relatively good technique. So I would normally go for a wetsuit that has very good flexibility in it, so I barely feel it on my shoulders or my arms. So that means I'm going for the flex wetsuit, aren't I? But do I go for the Athlex flex or the Apex flex? confusing. Well, 
I'd also consider myself having fairly good position and buoyancy in the water. I'm fairly neutral, my legs aren't dropping. So I don't think I need a ton of buoyancy, although I'm not gonna turn down a little added buoyancy, but obviously I want that flexibility with that too. So I'd say I need an Apex Flex wetsuit. From what I understand, the Athlex Flex wetsuit has a little bit more buoyancy to it and whilst being very flexible, isn't quite as flexible as the Apex. That said, I might have to try them both out just to make sure. Okay, so apart from having six to choose from, what really makes this new range stand out? Well, it's time to get a little bit geeky and check out the tech. So first off, all of the Orca wetsuits are made from Yamamoto, which is essentially the gold standard when it comes to swim wetsuit neoprene, and a lot of other brands use it. But interestingly, Orca is actually the only brand that is certified to make all of their suits using exclusive Yamamoto material. Also, and this one's very interesting, did you know that this form of neoprene is actually sourced from limestone as opposed to oil, which is honestly something absolutely new to me. Apparently this is not only there to help with the material's performance, but also it makes it more durable. So, the focus of this recent range was spread across three separate yet equally influential aspects. Buoyancy, flexibility, and hydrodynamics. So let's start with the buoyancy part of that. So I think you'll agree that obviously one of the big benefits of slipping into a wetsuit is that added buoyancy. It certainly makes getting into that cold water that you have to enjoy in the open water all that bit more enjoyable. As I've mentioned already, these wetsuits do have differing amounts of buoyancy with the float model being the highest and the flex being the lowest. Don't worry, I'm not about to delve into every single tech feature here because obviously there's quite a lot across the entire range. But I am gonna pick out a few notable ones, starting with the Aerodome technology. Now this is brand new technology to Orca and it's applied to the lower body, gives the swimmer 30% more buoyancy. And the secret is in its construction. There are hundreds of pockets located between two layers of pre-treated neoprene, with the inner layer composed of a high quality lining that gives the neoprene more elasticity. They've implemented this in specific areas to help facilitate the rotation. We also have the exo lift. This is a sandwich type construction which combines a neoprene layer, that aerodome technology, and a third interior layer of neoprene, which is treated specifically to make certain models like the Apex Flow even more durable, achieving maximum buoyancy and zero water absorption. Okay, and on to flexibility. Each individual wetsuit will obviously have varying materials according to where it sits in the range. Now you've got 0.883, which we've actually seen on previous Orca wetsuits before. And this technology was actually developed with Yamamoto exclusively for Orca, with the goal of creating the most elastic material on the market today. And it's pretty mad stuff too. It's just 0.5 mil thick and contains a titanium coating for thermal insulation. And this, as you can see, is used on the arms for that increased flexibility. But to make such an extensive lineup and cater for different swimmers, we've also, also got a ton of other materials too, all with varying properties. So we have actually what's called 38 plus, 39 plus, 40 plus, 44 plus, 39 FS, 40 FS, 40 PF plus. I mean, it's all pretty impressive, all bringing different levels of flexibility, support and buoyancy to different areas of the body. Some even claiming to require 72% less force to stretch than other conventional neoprene. But of course, lastly, an area that shouldn't be overlooked, hydrodynamics, another benefit of wearing a full length wetsuit. In short, all these materials and all, these, all this neoprene have been treated to slip through the water and reduce water resistance. And they use what is called SCS coating, super composite skin coating. The microcell structure of the SCS coating repels water when in contact with air and reduces surface resistance when in contact with the water. Less, less friction equals easier swimming or more importantly, more speed. And then they have a further advancement to that, which they use in some of their suits called Nano Ice SCS. But anyway, to the bit that many of you have probably been waiting anxiously for, and that is how you can get your hands on one of two of these wetsuits that are up for grabs. Now, to do that, you just need to head to the description below this video, click on the giveaway link there, or take you through to a page where you need to answer a question regarding these wetsuits. So I hope you've been listening. Well, best of luck to you. Um, and do let us know what you think of these wetsuits in the comments section down below. You may have seen some pro athletes already flexing these on their social media or even in racing. So yeah, let us know in the comment section down below. I hope you've enjoyed today's video, found it interesting. If so, please do give it a thumbs up, give it a like, and don't forget, you can also subscribe to GTN.